Welcome to Chem Mastery with Dr. G. In this video, I will cover some of the basics in organic chemistry and starting off with representation of organic molecules and homologous series. So how can we represent our organic molecules? The first uh, formula we use is the empirical formula. And the empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of each element in a compound. For example, if you have ethene, which is C2H4, then the empirical formula will be CH2 because this is the simplest whole number ratio of all of the elements. And then we have the molecular formula. And the molecular formula will give us the actual number of all of the atoms in the molecule. So for ethane, uh, ethene, which is C2H4, it's going to be C2H4 because it has two carbons and four hydrogens. We also have the general formula. And general formula is a type of empirical formula and that represents the composition of any member of an entire series of class of uh, compounds. For example, we know that alkenes is Cn, H, 2N. So for um, any alkene with an N number of carbon atoms, the number of hydrogen atoms will always be double that number. The structure formula, um, this is the formula which shows the arrangements of the atom and the molecule of the compound. For example, for ethene, it's CH2, CH2, because we know in ethene we have CH2, then double bond between the two carbons, and then CH2. So this is the structure, structural formula of ethene. We also have the displayed formula. Displayed formula will show the sample of each atom in a compound with a straight line representing the covalent bond. For ethene, for example, you need to draw all the bonds here, so this is the displayed formula for ethene, where you show all your bonds and all the connections between all the atoms. And finally, we have the skeletal formula. And skeletal formula will show the bonds of the carbon skeleton only with any functional group. So, for example, if you want to represent the ethanol, you're going to draw it like that. So, this is the skeletal formula of ethanol. You don't show the carbons or the hydrogen and you represent the carbon bonds with the uh, lines and then uh, any other bonds with the line and then you have the functional group drawn which is the OH here in case of ethanol. So what is a homologous series? A homologous series um, is a series of compounds which have the same general formula and also they have the same functional group. You can use the general formula to work out the molecular formula of your compounds. For example, if you have for alkenes, the general formula is CnH2n. So for the member of alkene which have six carbon atom, which is hexene, it's going to be C6H12. The different members of the homologous series will differ only by CH2 in their molecular formula from the neighboring um, compound. For, so, for example, if you have the, um, we um, drew the uh, structure formula for, uh, for hexene, so for uh, propene, uh, for uh, pentene, so it's C5H10. And then you can see that they differ from each other by CH2. So for any homologous series, each member of the series will differ from the neighboring one by only CH2. Because they have similar functional group and they have a similar general formula, similar structures, then they will show a gradual variation in their physical properties based on how the length of the chain. So, so physical properties like, such as boiling points and uh, melting points, where they will show uh, gradual variation in these properties. And finally, because they have the exact same functional group, they're going to have similar chemical properties because the functional group is responsible for the chemical properties or is responsible for the type of reaction these kind of compounds can undergo. So they will have similar chemical properties. This is the list of all the main homologous series you need to know about for your 
uh, AQA A level um, uh, specification. So please uh, pause the video and um, have a quick uh, look at all of these homology series, the, their naming, what prefix or suffix we need to use, and the examples. You can take a screenshot of this as well, and you can keep it because you're going to need to use this when you name any organic molecule.